So to record audio in Ableton, all you've really got to do is open it up and basically under Options, Preferences, make sure under the Audio tab that you have MME slash DirectX chosen. And for audio input device, make sure to choose the microphone input uh, from your laptop. You should have a built-in microphone on your laptop, uh, or you can always use one of the, the headphones with mics that we have usually in the back of class. Once you've chosen that, you should now see under one of your audio tracks in Ableton. Again, use the tab button to switch from this view to this view. You've also got this button that can switch the views. But typically, I go into one of my audio tabs, make sure that you've got the input selected that you should see signal in. If you see it turning red like you're seeing on mine right now, that means you actually need to turn the microphone down a little bit. To do that, you just right click on the little speaker down here, click on recording devices, click on the microphone, properties, and under levels, you'll want to lower your mic level a little bit. And basically you want to do it to the point where you don't see red in Ableton when you're talking anymore. So like right there, that's perfect. You still you still want it to be as high as you can, but not where it's turning red. Once you've got this set up, you just click, say like right here, make sure that the track you want to record on is record enabled. So if it's like this, you want to make sure to click this button to record enable it. And then you're just going to press the record button up here. And everything you now are recording is, is showing up in Ableton. You should see waves on it um, to, to show that your, your voice is recording. Once you're done, you can click on stop or the space bar to stop it and listen back to it just to test and make sure it worked up out. Here and everything you now are recording is, so you can see that worked out. Another thing you can do that's kind of a cool thing is you can lower or raise the sound of your voice to make, make it sound much lower or higher. To do that, you click on this, double click on it actually, and you should see all these options down here. This transpose right here, this, this means if you want to lower the voice, you click it and hold the click and go down. And so now if we listen back to it again, and everything you now are recording is showing up in Ableton. You should see wave. You can hear my voice is much lower now. If I wanted to raise it, go up, play it. <laughs> so you can see, basically, it's really easy to change the sound of your voice. Another thing you'll want to do is sometimes you want to add a, a reverb effect into the, the voice. It'll kind of make it sound like you're, kind of like when you're singing in the shower and it sounds really echoey and, and sounds good. That's called reverb. So an audio effects under reverb you've got these different options hall means it'll sound like you're you're talking in a big cathedral church and if you just drag and drop this onto your track it will apply the effect so now let's listen to it I still have my voice uh, raised on that so if I want to lower that back down to zero that'll be just no effect and let's listen to it now Here it sounds like I'm in like a big church. Sometimes that can be too much and you want to go to a smaller reverb like what you have in the room where it's just a, a smaller effect reverb. And if you if you want to apply this, you actually have to drag it on and then go back and delete the original reverb you put. So here's that original cathedral reverb I put in. And basically to delete it, you just click on it and either right click and do delete or just click on it and press the delete button on your keyboard. Now that's just got the Up one here. reverb on there. And everything you now are recording is, is so you can see that reverb's a little bit better. It's not as strong. So those are the basics of how you record uh, audio in Ableton, including your voice. And uh, look forward to more tutorials, and good luck out there, guys.